Welcome. Uh, glad everybody is here. Um, it's uh, it, it's always exciting when when we put something like this together and get a, a really good crowd. Um, so thank you for that. Um, I've got a few comments. A few. These three uh, new board members, I'm sure you're in good hands for the for the next few years. So. Uh, the only, only other thing I would say is I would encourage you to consider going to the uh, national tour in Wisconsin in June. So if you're interested. The, the, the gray Model T. So that this car is for sale in Marengo, Illinois. I happen to be coming back through for something. So I go up to look at it and this person did the best sell job I've ever seen. Um, he had it cleaned up right, he had it, you know, brand new set of spark plugs in it, and, and probably just, you know, the very best set of coils he could find, whatever. I took it out, I drove it around, the thing really drove fine, it was painted gray with brown fenders, but we couldn't find any other Model T's, I mean, we, we, okay, we can paint them down the road, that's fine, what we need are cars that are run, and, you know, so, anyway, so we got cars back. Start the program there in uh, 2003. Um, as I said, we got the, the four Centennial Model Ts. One day fairly early, um, one, we got word that one of them had caught fire. So <laughs> whoever was riding in the back of it, the fella had a pair of pliers in his pocket. He pulled the rear seat out and he ripped the wire off the battery. Yeah. And the two wires went down through a drilled hole in the sheet metal panel that didn't have a grommet. So it just chafed through and shorted out. Anyway. <laughs> Um, when we first got the Centennials, um, one of them, a couple of them were towed in a couple inches, one of them was towed out two inches. You start getting up any speed, the thing would just kind of waddle. It was the weirdest thing, so we had to go through and align everything. Um, the person that they had make the wheels, um, they had made the wheels out of green wood. I mean, they, and so by the time they came to us, the wheels are all floppy, so then, you know, Ford sent on another set of wheels, a, and anyway, that one of them ended up getting varnished, and so the serial number one had varnished wheels for years. We went to, we could buy over winter that I would spend on just on maintenance, getting ready for all the parts and stuff I'd order. We could, you could buy a couple of tees for what we would just buy or get parts for just in January. I'd spend between tires, maintenance parts, I'd spend over 20 grand in the first week of January, just getting restocking parts. And that was just to get us through winter and get early operations going. I mean, we would do transmission, full engines and rebuild engine and transmission, put them back in with the same set of bands for probably three or four engine builds. The, yeah, the Kevlar's easily, so you're probably, I bet, 100,000 miles on a set of Kevlar's. <laughs> So I'll just kind of show you, you can watch how I go about it. I'm going to make it look stupid easy probably. Um, but like I said, if after all this you want to come try it out, you're more than welcome to um, if you don't have your own. So here we go. So you'll see in the case of this 26-27 wire wheel, uh, what someone has done is to add solder uh, to the spoke of the wheel uh, for the weight. And that, that's a fairly effective solution, just some lead solder wrapped around the spoke. Um, you know, it's obviously visible, but not that noticeable. Uh, provides a reasonable weight. It's easily adjustable. Um, you can make, you know, adjustments on the fly. Now, the, there are other ways of doing it uh, using weights. Particularly on non-demountable wheels like Chris's, it's kind of challenging because, of course, there's no easy way to stick a weight short of just using like a tape weight on the inside of the wheel. Uh, and they're, they're kind of ugly, to be honest with you. 
Absolutely. Thank you to all of you for coming and for, for giving us your day, your weekend, your travel time. Um, it, it, it's because of you that this happens, so thank you for that. Um, and we have just a really uh, thank you to the presenters again, um, Luke Channel, Mariah Bryans, David Liepelt, and Ken Kennedy. Uh, we've got a small gift for them. If you would, just one more round of applause for them and thank them.